morning. Happy New Year. It is the second. So yeah, a new year was to yesterday. Today is second. And I'm so happy to shoot this video and to talk to you guys. So this is my new hairstyle. I don't like it so much <laughs> because I feel it's not my style. But my hair was breaking and I just needed to go to a professional to fix it so that the dreadlocks can start locking. So I don't like it, but he did a good job. So that's the most important thing. It's kind of not my style. I don't feel like it suits me or it suits my face. So today I just sampled some questions to start the new year because I know there are people who are new who will be following us or will be watching us. Join, 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 join. You can invite other people. Koro. I just had some questions here that I want to start the new year with so that I can know what I'm talking about. Because it's been long since I recorded a YouTube video. In fact, 2022, I think I can even count the number of videos I posted and I was not motivated at all. I didn't feel like doing videos. I was just concentrating on other things. But this year, I feel ready to come back. So let me just do this quick video of introduction so that the people don't know me. Old people who are subscribing, new subscribers, they can subscribe. So I'm wearing my old t-shirt that we branded in 2021. So the first question is self-introduction. Name, age, marital status. So my name is, the one in the ID is Mary, but in YouTube or on social media, I go by Nyasiaya, that is now my, let me say my brand name. And I am in my 30s, early 30s, so you can just guess which age I am. And yes, uh, I'm not married. I think that is for introduction. Yes, age, marital status, and name. That's it. So we go to the second question. Why are you recording this video? Why did you start a YouTube channel? So... The reason why I started YouTube channel is because I've always wanted to explore social media, if you understand, to bring some educative content because, you know, people bring all sorts of content, comedy, uh, entertainment, education, um, there are so many things. Eh? So I wanted a channel that is more of informative, but mainly handling matters that we go through for on day-to-day -day lives like if you you've seen some of the skits that we used to do when i was still with the Sumpi crew right now i i live so far away from them so it's not it's not easy to meet you'll find that there's always a message in all the videos that we are making so that is why i decided to start a youtube channel and also the channel started in 2020 it was during covid you were in lockdown people were bored no well, no, I was not going anywhere, not working, not doing anything. So I just had so much time and I decided to start and I don't regret because I'm now enjoying it. And I do it also for leisure, like just as a hobby. So I don't put a lot of expectations on it so that when it fails, I get disappointed. No, I just do it as a hobby. I don't force myself to do it. When I need a break, I take a break. Then... What's your purpose of being a YouTuber? So my purpose is to educate, entertain, inform, but mostly also to meet amazing people and also to be able to talk people and to change lives. So if my channel has inspired you or encouraged you, just leave your comments down there and we'll really appreciate. And the next question, do you have any studies? I actually have some studies. So I... I, I, I went to the university, I have a, degree, a bachelor's degree, let me say that. So, yes, I have some studies, I went to school. Do you hope to get famous in future? Yes, 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 yes. I don't mind being famous. Yeah, there are so many ways you can be famous. You can be famous for bad thing or you can be famous for a good thing. But I want to be famous because I am touching life, so I am saying something that is changing life of somebody or just informing somebody about something and the next question what is the main topic of your channel so topics on my channel always ranges from travel relationship family issues and parenting and uh, just the general things that people face on a daily 
day to day life. I'm not restricted in one particular niche. Like, let me say, I'm just cooking, nothing else. No, we, I'll always be talking about different topics depending on the guest I have or the skit we are doing or whatever I want to talk about. And uh, the next question, the next question is. What is your favorite celebrity? Do I have one? So let me say I love Oprah Winfrey so much because uh, she's just eloquent and I love her story where she came from to rise to where she is. I also loved, I used to love the talk show where she used to have different sorts of guests and I just love her eloquence. I love, I just love her as a person. She's nice. The next question is, huh, how many countries have you been to? I've not traveled a lot. I am a Kenyan. I live in Kenya. I was born in Kenya, raised in Kenya, schooled in Kenya. But I've explored some countries within East Africa. I've, went, I've gone to Uganda and Tanzania. So plus the Kenya, my country, I've only been into three countries. But in future, I should explore some African countries. I really want to visit Ghana. I really want to visit Malawi or Botswana, one of the two, but they border each other so I can do both. And probably South Africa. Yes, those are, and Rwanda. Those are the African countries I'd love to visit next. Internationally, uh -huh. maybe Dubai or Seychelles or USA. Yes. And the next question, the last question, which... Which movie did you watch last? I don't always watch movies. I'm not so much of a movie person. So the last movie I watched, I don't even remember. It's been so long ago. But I always watch some series. And uh, it depends. I, I don't watch a lot. But when it is a series, the last series I watched was on Netflix with Magnolia, Magnolians. I always like love watching things that are family drama family drama so i'm that boring that is what i watch last and i just want to share something that i learned in the year 2021 because 2020 i did a lot of youtube as i said it was during covid and people were locked down and we had so much time but now 2021 there are so many things that happened to me on my personal life and uh, somehow I didn't want them to clash with whatever I'm bringing here on YouTube. So I just decided, uh, let me take a break, handle my issues, put my life together. Then I come back. They were not bad things. They were good things. But you know, also good things can be overwhelming. It is only not only bad things that can overwhelm you from good things. So there have been very good things, not so bad. And 2021 was good. And I 2022 was good. Why am I going back to 2021? 2022 was good. 2021, I made a lot of content. Eh? So the, so uh, what I also wanted to say is I was also exploring other social media networks, networks because we have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, there are so many, can't list all of them. So I also wanted to explore TikTok, I wanted to explore Facebook, Instagram. I tried when I started YouTube, but somehow I didn't find a way through. So I this 2022, I gave more attention to YouTube and discovering how it works. Because, you know, nowadays people even post videos on YouTube. But I realized I still belong here on YouTube. So that's why I'm back here. So feel free to subscribe. I'll be posting three videos a week. And that is a promise from today, three videos a week. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. And if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe. And let's interact in the comment question section. And if you have further questions, just post them down below. Bye.